Midterm elections now less than three weeks away. There are some big races on the ballot from the race for Oregon governor to statewide gun control. This week, Willamette Week put out its endorsement issue, taking a look at both local and state level races. And joining us to talk about the issues, Willamette Week news editor Aaron Mesh. As always, Aaron, you doing okay? I'm doing great. I've got my candidates going wild shirt on. I'm ready to talk about it. I noticed it. that. I was going to ask you about that, but we can talk about it in just a minute. First of all, I want to talk about this candidate issue here. What do you take into account when putting together an issue like this? Tell me that. Well, it's our endorsement issue. And as we decide who it is that we're going to endorse, the, the big questions that we're asking ourselves are what is the state of Oregon and what is the condition of our city? And which candidate on any given race will be the person who can best uh, move this place forward. So remember that unlike with uh, advocacy groups that have endorsements where they're choosing someone because they're really enthusiastic about them, we face as an editorial board the same choice that voters do, often an unpalatable one between two people who we don't really like, and we have to make a decision, what's the best option for Oregon? What problems do you see having the biggest impact on how people are going to vote? I think there's no question when you look at polling that the majority of Oregon voters are very alarmed by the conditions on Portland streets, that the amount of unhoused camping and uh, the level of squalor and crime that seemingly has been unaddressed by Portland City Hall is troubling people not only in Portland but across the state. We've certainly been getting some national attention lately. Of course, President Biden was back here for a second time last week. Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy uh, here last month. Governors Larry Hogan, Glenn Youngkin, uh, both making appearances. Now, Senator Elizabeth Warren is coming this weekend. Did these big names, in your opinion, Aaron, sway votes, or is it just an indication that really Oregon is in play now? I think it's a little bit more the latter. I would back up and I would say that we've been an object of national fascination for about a decade now. And for maybe the last two years, we've been something of a national boogeyman, especially for the for right wing news organizations. So seeing outsiders try to define who Oregon is is hardly anything new. Seeing these visits from national level politicians, including the president of the United States, is new. I think it says more about the degree to which uh, Democrats are very worried that they could lose the governor's office for the first time in 36 years. What ratio should people really be keeping an eye on that could have a lasting impact statewide and here in Portland? By far the most significant contest on the ballot in many ways, other than the governor's race, but maybe ultimately more significant than the governor's race, is the question of whether or not Portland reforms its charter. Does it change its form of government? Because that's not just picking one particular candidate. That's deciding on an entire system of governance that could change the way in which people respond to fires, in which uh, police are hired and fired. There's a, there's a lot that's at stake in the way that we form the city council. And that's a decision that voters will make that could last decades. Mesh, thank you. And feel free to send me one of those T-shirts, too. I got an extra one if you were a large. I, I do, as a matter of fact. Thank you. Read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.